what drew you to sound recording? As it's, it's not always the first choice for many people who want to get into TV. They always tend to gravitate towards presenting or, or camera work. So, so why sound recording? Well, when I retire, Jack, I'm going to blow the lid off wildlife filmmaking and sound. <laughs> Just the top of it is fake. I'm going to be honest with you, right? And so when I, when I finished my degree, I went to work to, at the Bristol as a researcher. And because I worked in natural history, a vast majority of the sound that's put on all of these wonderful blue chip programs, I'm sorry, it's fake. It's not <laughs> location and so I saw there was a real niche there you know I mean it was difficult trying to persuade the producers to go with live sound it was often the job that was given to the researcher you know it was so far down the pecking list of their things to do that I thought hang on a minute you know being multi-skilled is a good thing so I when I was at university I boom swing for a guy in Manchester so I had a, an eye or an ear for sound and, and, and be, working in natural history TV sound is always neglected you know, it's never put on until you're in the edit when they realise they've not got the sound of that various crane or they've not got the sound of that underwater shot, you know. Let's face it, how much fake underwater sound do we put on underwater shots? I mean, you must drive you mad. Yeah. The are there, we do have the equipment to record proper underwater, you know, recording on location with that species, you know. And there's a couple of times when I've done it and it's just been absolutely amazing. And it just adds so much more to the programme. And so I realised that, hang on a minute, I'm going to be a, a, a researcher who can do sound. But because I'm heavily dyslexic, the whole research thing never really worked for me. No, you know, no. It's difficult. And I'm going back now 25 years, so even then, you know, people communicated by a phone. And so it's better. But when, when, when all the email that came in, it was just not my thing. You know, I like face-to-face uh, interactions and so I realized that I was probably spending several months in the office for that two-week filming trip well yeah. I preferred two-week filming trip and not a time in the office so I then retrained the recorder so I went to the BBC training school at Wood Norton you know our industry Jack as you well know is very very difficult to get into yeah. but very easy. Oh, that's the other thing as well um, so I always think being multi-skilled having as many you know tricks under your belt as you can makes you more employable and especially as sound was neglected it meant that i could go away on shoots i could be the researcher and i could also do good quality location recording and in the early days i worked i worked for 12 years with Bilotti. i worked oh. on the body series and early on i was the researcher that would go with the wildlife cameraman and we would shoot the wildlife stuff and i'd record proper sound on location 